Okay, so welcome to part two of the panel building and widget layout um, tutorials. So, so far we've, uh, we've, we're, we're, we're attempting to duplicate this uh, user interface, uh, this ohm controller, and so far we've divided up our um, layouts, our containers, into uh, three columns of sections. This section, or this this column holding three subsections, knobs, sliders, and buttons, so one, two, three. This is going to hold two different sections, one for the array of buttons, the other for the crossfader. This is going to hold this whole area here. The next section will hold the, these, and then the following, that guy. So uh, to begin, let's just start with the knobs. So our strategy for this is going to be, uh, I guess, three containers that are going to hold um, one row of four knobs each. And so we need a vertically stacked set of four of three columns or three rows, three row containers. So let's track down this container. So that's in layout one in section one. So we know we're going to be stacking containers vertically. So we can say top to bottom. And then we can go inside and add a container. OK, um, so now uh, if we want to color this, maybe and you'll see the color that it's actually way outside the range here. And that's because we haven't set our fills yet. So let's set, set our fill horizontal and fill vertical. And then we want to, we'll call this row one. We want to be numbering them so we get the right order. And then we can do row one, row two, and row three. And if we change the colors here, we'll see that that worked. OK. So. Um, if we want to see a little bit more clearly, we can also change our margins up above. So I think we were using a space of three and a margin of five. And you can see now we've got three nice clean uh, rows for stacking our, our knobs into. Okay, so uh, if we're going to be stacking horizontally here, then we would go to the children page of the row and say stack left or align left to right, and then go on the inside. So now we're actually going to be placing our knobs. And uh, as I mentioned in the first part of the tutorial, we're only going to be using empty uh, containers for this or empty um, panels for this because I don't want to confuse this process with the actual widgets themselves. The, the process is exactly the same. And, um, and, and so what we can do instead is instead of grabbing a container this time, let's grab a widget, um, a widget panel. The widget panel component was developed to support the widget process that we're currently engaged in building. Um, so we added the new widget um, uh, panel component. We were thinking we were probably going to add some features that were going to be specific to the widget type of panel. But actually, we didn't actually end up doing that. Anything yet that might happen in the future. So this, this is actually exactly the same as a container, but it is a widget. It is of the tip type widget. And you'll see in the, in the next tutorials, um, when we finally get into building widgets, that the widgets are actually held, the widget um, functionality is actually held inside widget containers, or widget panels. <clears throat> so again, let's give this a color. And we'll make this maybe lighter because it's a widget. That's good. And then let's set it to fill, fill again. Fill, fill. And we'll, well, I'm fine with widget, so let's call it widget one, two, three, four. And if we open our parent parameters, set our spacing to three and five. Then you'll see that we've got four four areas for one for each widget. Okay. So again, um, 
now that we've done that, it's actually easy for us to just grab row one and two, or row two and three, and just go to the common page and make them a clone of row one, and we'll just automatically get the benefit of, um, of the other guys. They don't look the same because we actually have to also configure their parameters. So we gotta do left to right, uh, spacing is three, and margin is five. And now they all look correct, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next section, which is sliders, the faders here. So we just need a horizontal set of widgets. So that's quite easy, because it's exactly the same as this guy here. It is actually the same. So we can just copy this, row one, go into section two and paste. But before we do that, let's make sure our parent is configured. Let's do, um, or actually it's not quite the same because we don't want to have a subcomponent. So um, let's go inside here and grab the widgets. These are configured correctly. Copy those and go to section two. Set our stacking order to be left to right. Our spacing is going to be three. Our margin is going to be five. And then go inside and paste. And bam, we've got that configured right. And then finally, uh, this looks, if I remember correctly, is the same. This is stacked. So we just have to do that again. Um, and if, yeah, so let's just do that again. So children, left to right, spacing three, margins five, and then paste. Okay, cool. So that's done. So let's move on to the array of buttons here. That's this guy. So we've got eight buttons um, and eight rows of buttons, okay? So we can probably go copy section one. This is very similar, right? So if we copy this and go into layout two, section one, and paste, then these will behave correctly if we configure this right, which we didn't yet. So let's go to the section one parent parameters, and we want to go stack left to right, or wait, no, we want to stack top to bottom, right? Because we have three rows, or we're gonna have, row, or we're gonna have eight rows of, of eight buttons each. So right now, we do just top to bottom, and let's also do our spacing. So let's do three and a margin of five. Now you can see that nicely contained in there. And let's set this up to be eight by eight. So go into the row one and just copy all four, paste. Now I've got five, or a total of eight. And then just copy our rows. Copy one, two, three, four. So that's eight. Okay, so we've got an eight by eight set of buttons there. Easy enough. What's the next section look like? It looks a little different. There's a slider in the middle and two buttons, but for right now, just because we want to get the base layout going, uh, let's not worry about the fact that there's a knob here and a button here. They're all widgets, just the same with widgets as well. All widgets are widgets, um, but then they have subclasses like, for example, knobs versus sliders, but they all behave the exact same way. So that's why it's a good thing for us right now to be working like this, just so you can um, uh, wrap your head around that fact. So we don't need to worry about um, anything other than the fact that we need three uh, widgets stacked horizontally. So that's quite easy. We can just go grab three widgets from here, which we know are already configured for stacking. So copy. And then uh, down here, we can go and do the same thing, which is we want to stack left to right. We want to set our spacing to three and our margins to five. And then go inside and paste. And now we've got three widgets stacked there. Good. So just, just as a review, just remember the only thing that we've done to these child widgets is uh, we've set their color to be gray 
and uh, their horizontal mode to be fill fill. That's the only thing we've done. And that, that just makes them work with the stacking system here, which is just us setting the align parameter to whatever order we want. So if you wanted them to be vertically stacked, I could say top to bottom, but in this case, left to right, and then the margins. Okay, so this next section is the more complex one, which we're not gonna do in this, um, um, in this video because it's a little bit more involved and we're gonna use a different system, the alternative um, uh, anchoring system. So let's skip that and uh, we just need four here and four here. Uh, we know that they match over here, so why don't we just go copy section two, or wait, sorry. Let's go copy, yeah, layout one, section two, and section three match on the other side. So copy these, go into um, your layout three, delete section two and three, and paste. And that's done. So this is um, the end of this video. So we've now sort of done a generic layout that would match what we would require for here. And so in the next section, we're going to be dialing this in a bit more to make it look a little bit um, uh, more close to what this is as well as we're going to try to tackle this at the same time.